Hello everyone, welcome back to Entertainment Circle. I'm Sheila Paz and I'm here again with my dear friend, the traveler in the boat. Hey, Mike Aiken. <laughs> Good to see you again. Good to see you and be here. Welcome back. Thank How you are you? Thank you very much. I'm doing very well and yourself? Great. It's so funny that I ran into you last night. Yeah, I didn't expect to see you at the Mercy Lounge, that's for sure. That was fun. I know that face. Hey, Mike! <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. And even funnier that people were talking about you in Spanish on Facebook. What's up with that? Well, you know, a, a lot comes from traveling all over. I have fans all over, and I, and I appreciated you getting back to that gentleman and telling him where they could find Coltrane. Yeah, that was, that was really cool. <laughs> well, congrats. Thanks, See, thanks. you have some Latino fans. Um, but I want to talk about something very important that we missed in our last interview. We did. The Mike Aiken Festival. What What's all that about? Well, it's, uh, it's called the Aiken and Friends Fest, and this is the eighth year. And really, it's a benefit, not-for-profit festival that benefits youth music education. Mm -hmm. So it's a two-day festival, and we do a Writers in the Round on the Friday night, which will be October 4th. And then it's uh, two stages outside on October 5th this year, and we'll have bands and musicians, and we do workshops. It's a it's a nice festival it's sort of an americana country roots fest mm -hmm. but really what we try to support is youth music education so mm -hmm. we've surprised we've supplied uh, scholarships mm -hmm. and tutors for gifted kids to down as simple as just having band instruments for local high schools so it's wow. a it's a you know uh, when when money gets tight they cut music out of the schools right away and music's so True. important so True. we just try to we try to keep that music going so what kind of workshop do you guys teach you in the two-day festival? There'll be, um, I'll be giving with an, uh, a writer I write with, Austin Cunningham, a songwriters, festival, uh, songwriters workshop okay. on the Saturday morning. Uh, a gentleman, Danny Flowers, who's another Nashville writer, mm -hmm. he'll be there performing and he'll be giving a guitar workshop. Amy will be giving an indie music promotion. She's the head of Northwind Records, so she'll be there as Northwind Records president giving a uh, indie music promotion workshop. Mm -hmm. So we try to really fill a lot of needs and make an interesting two days. And, and is this open to everybody in the world to come? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and it's, it's the only festival I know of. When I started the festival, one of the things you had to be able to bring a boat to it and anchor at the festival. Mm -hmm. So you can sail in from anywhere, and, uh, and you end up going in the Chesapeake Bay, and then you end up going up the James River to the Pagan River, and you can anchor right at the festival site. Wow. So it's really, uh, really great. I pretty. have to be there. I have you to be there. You should be there. <laughs> <laughs> now you sold me out on that one, being right on the water. Um, so what happened if it rains? It's all outside? Well, we had a pretty good rain date last year. We, we covered a lot outside, but we also have a theater that we can go to if it's a rain date. So, okay. so we covered all, and there, you know, it's a typical festival. There's all sorts of vendors and all sorts of food. Mm -hmm. and, and for those of you that haven't heard, this takes place in Smithfield, Virginia. Um, you can drive there, you can fly into Norfolk, Virginia, uh, and get there. And the official name is Smithfield Music's Aiken and Friends Fest. Okay, I need a a, a, a cue card too, uh, Miss Amy. <laughs> 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 so, um, so it's playing in the rain in case it rains. You, you do some playing in the rain. We had a lot of we had a lot of tents up last year. We did. We had we had seven years of perfect weather, but last year it, it rained pretty good. But you just keep going. Okay, so what is the cost for the festival? How people can find out about the festival and who's going to be participating? In okay, the you, you can find out about the festival two ways. You can go to the Fest website, which is akenandfriendsfest.com. You can go to my website, which is mikeakenmusic.com, and there's a link from there. Mm -hmm. And that'll give you the schedule as it changes. Uh, ticket prices vary on if you're coming in for the full weekend or just for one night. Um, but there's weekend packages with hotels. But if you go to the Fest site, you'll see. At this moment, for the Friday night writers in the round, there is uh, Buzz Kaysen out of Nashville. Great, great writer. Austin Cunningham and myself. So we'll do the writers in the round in the Smithfield Theater. That, that sells out fast. It holds 178. So it sells out quick. Wow. Um, but that's a, a really good night. Uh, the next day, there'll be the workshops. Uh, there'll be Danny Flowers doing a solo show. Austin will be there. I'll be bringing my whole band from Nashville in. And we're still booking more talent. But go to the website and you'll see who's coming. 
and you will be there. <laughs> I'm a talent. <laughs> you are a talent, and you will be there, and you should be there. He said, you still booking, I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, so, and joking aside, so what are you doing back in Nashville? Can you tell me? Well, one of the, one of the big ones is uh, <laughs> I came to see you. <laughs> oh, good, a good reason. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and, uh, and today I'm also officially signing with CSAC. Great. As, uh, as my writers are going to thank you. It's uh, I'm really looking forward to the relationship with CSAC, and um, and a lot that they have offered, and I think I can offer them as a writer. So I think it'll be real good. You'll be really good for them. <laughs> I, I hope. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, good luck, and thank you so much for stopping by to see me, your favorite TV host in Nashville. Absolutely. <laughs> I love to tease them. Um, and please go to his website, check out the festival. It's going to be fantastic. Believe me, when I saw the link, I went and checked it out, all of it. And it's so easy to find. And you have all the information there on the website. The tickets are in there, the hotels. And please go and support music for the children because arts is very important for the kids to keep them out of trouble. It, right? Exactly. It worked for me. I mean, yeah. I mean, seriously, I was... Look how good you turned out. <laughs> you know, I'm here. It's good. and But music music is real good for kids. Yes, you it's You know, true. real good for kids. Sheila, I'd like to thank you again for bringing me on so we could talk about the festival. This is great, and I appreciate the support. You are very welcome. It's my pleasure to have you back on the show Thanks. and here in Nashville. And congratulations. I can't wait to go to the festival. Great. We'll see you there. All right. Stay tuned. We have more Entertainment Circle. Thank you.